Selling a house in the middle of a pandemic has created a host of challenges, as you might imagine, for sellers as well as buyers. Millions of people have lost their jobs. The stock market has yo-yoed in the last two weeks. All of these factors directly impact the real estate market. So is it a buyer's market right now? I mean, how fast are homes selling? Joining me now to explain what he is seeing locally is Eddie Cintron. He is the managing broker at Watson Realty. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey, good morning, Jen. Thank you for having me. So is this a good time to sell? I mean, is there good inventory? Well, absolutely. It is a great time to sell. Uh, inventory is actually very low. Uh, we have um, kind of a key indicator that we look at in the industry called the absorption rate. And if you look at that absorption rate, it basically tells you it rates how quickly or how much inventory we have at the current time. And if you look at it right now, we're right around 3.2 months worth of inventory. And really, we need about six months worth of inventory. Can you explain to our viewer at home what that means, the absorption rate? It's a little confusing. Yeah, no, absolutely. So we need six months worth of inventory uh, to, to basically satisfy the demand. And right now we have about 3.2. So we have a lot more buyers than we do have sellers. So if you have a, a, a house, this is the time to list it. Higher, uh, the uh, home values are going up. If you look back uh, over the last 12 months, we've gone up about 8%. So if you have a home, this is a great time to list. Yeah, it's interesting because right now on the, uh, on the screen, we're showing the inventory and it was low pre-pandemic, but that's it's gotten better, hasn't it? I'm looking at the dates here. It looks like... Well, it's, it's actually dropped. gotten lower. Yeah, so if you look dropped. at yeah, if you look at the the uh, inventory, it's actually gotten lower after the pandemic. So we need some inventory. We need to, to, to have some houses for sale. It's a challenge, though, I, I would imagine, for people showing their home. They're probably pretty nervous about having strangers walking th walking through, given the concerns about the pandemic. How do you weigh that factor? Yeah, absolutely. And this is important. When you do um, meet with an agent, you want to make sure that you ask them what sort of uh, protocol, safety protocols are they following? Are they following the CDC, CDC rules or, um, um, you know, do they have uh, the right tools um, to be able to protect you and your family? Yeah, asking a lot of questions, I think, is important. Are home values holding? I mean, are sellers getting what they want for those who are putting them on the market? Yeah, in the current market, because we have such uh, a demand, and it's all about the supply and demand uh, principles, right? So we have a lot of demand and not enough inventory. So, you know, sellers uh, have multiple offers a lot of the times, and the homes are selling really, really fast. If you look a year ago, the average days on the market, you would be looking at about 50 days on the market, where in today's, you're under 30 days. Hmm. And have the low interest rates kind of helped boost sales as well? Absolutely, which is what's making this kind of an interesting, unusual uh, market because you have a little bit of a seller's market. We just talked about that. But at the same time, we have a buyer's market due to the low interest rates. It is the time to buy a home. Uh, and just to give you an example, 1% difference in a rate, meaning going from 4% to 3%, could mean anywhere between twenty-five to thirty-five thousand extra dollars wow. that a buyer can buy. So that's a lot of buying power. Yeah, it's a lot of money. So quickly, um, your suggestion to sellers first, and then to buyers. I would say first and foremost, contact an agent. That would be the first thing. Secondly, ask that agent if you're a seller, um, you know, how are you going to protect me and my family? What sort of um, guidelines are you following? Safety protocols are you following? Do you have virtual touring, 3D tours online where buyers can, you know, from the comfort of their home, can view your home? That would be very important. And then be prepared. Be prepared to have multiple offers and sell quickly. If you're a buyer, I would say also contact an agent, and this, is, this will be really important. Get yourself pre-qualified before going shopping. The last thing you want to do is go shopping, find the dream home, and then have to go back to get yourself pre-qualified and find out you can't qualify for that particular home. Or find out, and this, is, this happens all the time, go back you find out that the home's already under contract. Right, you've lost the sale because you didn't pre-qualify ahead of time. Exactly. Uh, the, the opportunity to buy, I should say. Eddie Cintron is with Watson Realty. Thank you for being here this morning. Do appreciate it. Thank you very much.